Hey guys, it's Heather. I know it has been over a month since I have filmed. Um, of course, as soon as I turn the camera on, my dogs are coming over here. So it's really, really hot out here. But anyway, I thought this morning I could pick up the camera. Um, it's the first morning that I haven't rushed out of my house to go to work or have gotten my granddaughter up to get ready for camp or had her here with a play date or a swim day or something. So yeah, let's touch up. So I believe the last time that I filmed, it was after I got my new flooring and stuff put in and I had, since then I've changed the curtains in the living room. I don't know if I showed the curtains in the living room or the curtains in the bedroom, I probably did. I don't remember. Um, sitting on my back porch because it's not, it's not horrendous yet. I know next week we're supposed to get 105, I think. Yeah, thank God for a pool, thank God for air conditioning. I don't know how people did air conditioning or did summers without air conditioning. You know, our ancestors, I don't know how they did it. I, I don't, in the car, I, I just, cars without AC are back in a horse and buggy time, holy smokes. But, and then wearing the long dresses, could you imagine what that smell was like? Oh my God. Anyway, especially since we have like deodorant and stuff now, they didn't have that back then. Anyway, um, we still have done some more house projects. Um, my, the exterior of my house, and you've seen it if you, if you follow me on Instagram, um, I, if I, I'll probably walk you around the house in a little while. But, um, the outside of my house was a very light gray color when we built the house and it was a one slightly sh darker shade gray on the, not shingles, but there's a textured part in the little peaks. It was slightly grayer or darker gray. But over the last 10 years of living here, it's faded and you know, touch-ups didn't really work anymore because old paint versus new paint, sun bleached or whatever. So last year I had gotten an estimate to have the house painted and we just had to get an opportunity to do it. So um, I called the guy that we gave the estimate to, we got the estimate from last, last year. Now I have, I have quite a large house and I also have a detached garage. So it's two different structures. Plus I had them do some deck work, but um, anyway, they got it done in about a week. I went with a, it's still gray. I love gray inside and out. Um, but this one's called Urbane Bronze. So it's a gray, but it has a tint of brown to it. Just if you look at it one, right now I'm looking at the back of my house and it's very dark gray, but in certain lighting, you see the little brown tint. And he had to replace some wood around a door frame on my detached garage um, and because they had a rod and some wood frame up on my chimney area. So it took them, you know, they had to pressure wash, then they had to come in and tape everything, clean everything. Uh, it was just, it was a lot of work because we have a lot of windows. They painted the gutters, they painted all the trim, all the windows. Um, and then they, all the white parts of my deck, not this part. This part is actually like a, a plastic, I guess. I don't remember what it's called. but. Um, the, the underneath of it is, you know, but the structure of it is white. So we had that repainted, but when he was under there, um, he had found that the two outside main structures of the deck, as well as one piece here, they had not installed the flashing properly when they installed the under decking. So it's not just a deck, it's a roof underneath it. So it keeps you completely dry underneath, it's a waterproof. But they hadn't installed the, the flashing correctly. So when the water ran off to the sides, it rotted out those pieces of wood. So there was another day's worth of work. And you know, there was rain days in between there. And that was the 4th of July. He actually worked 4th of July. I was really surprised that they came out on the 4th of July. But this crew came out and his wife was working with him. They got here about nine. You can hear my pool pump in the background. I'm sorry sounds like it's low but it's not um but they worked until 7 30 8 o'clock at night and it took seven days and that was with all the repairs and stuff as well so um i love how it looks it's it's very different than it was before but my neighbors seem to really like it and they're all getting estimates from him as well i had posted in my instagram stories that that was the last project but it's not um i have some stone on the front of my house and since we built this house you know they clear the lot your your lot settles a little bit so the stone has kind of risen or the dirt has gone down and i need more stone put in and my steps on the front repaired so that stone has been ordered and the same guy who did my painting is going to come out next week i think next week and do the sorry i don't know where I hear Dexter, but I don't see him. 
and fix the stone on the front front area. I think that is going to be the end of home repairs. You know, we've been here 10 years. So, you know, you have to do maintenance, you know, as a homeowner, you don't have a choice. You have to do things to keep your house in working. Jax, you're shaking everything. Good, buddy. Hi. Hi, Jaxie Bear. So this summer has been um, all about my granddaughter and work. Um, she's gone to work with me a few days, but we did sign her up for five weeks of camp. She's already done three of those. This is her last week off with no camp, no nothing. So this week we scheduled a play date. Uh, a friend of hers from school came over and they spent the day swimming. Um, she actually spent the night with Emily last night because Emily was supposed to get her next week, but she's in camp next week and then going to her mother's house. So um, yeah, be, so next week is kind of more of an off week for me, for her. And then the following week, she's back here and has another week of science camp. She loves science camp. This one is called Break It and Make It. Um, and then the week after that, she goes back to school. She will be in sixth grade. We took her yesterday and bought her some school supplies. You know, the, the list that you can find online for uprising sixth graders and picked out the paper and the binders and the pencils and all that stuff. So um, just to have them ready. My son has been working like crazy. If you follow me on Instagram, you see that my son got a new puppy. So he's got a Tootsie that they've had since Sophia was three. She's now 11. Tootsie's still there. Um, and she's not loving the new puppy, so it's going to take a little time. But we have a new German Shepherd grand dog. His name is Yuki. And he loves his grandma. So I got to bring him over here now. J Jax could care less about him. Indigo loves him to death. And Dexter acted like he wanted to eat him. So my dog stayed inside while I gave Yuki a pool day with Sophia last week or was the beginning of this week my weeks have literally run together i'm not used to being kind of a almost full-time grandparent so that's why you haven't seen much you know I, that's why i haven't had the time to pick up the camera because i've been busy working and busy with her and i didn't want to say hey sophia i need you to be quiet or whatever and i don't know um you know she's allowed to be on instagram and stuff now and i can post pictures of her on facebook and instagram but i don't know about putting her on youtube at this moment so Hey, I just got the picture privilege. You know, she had to be 11 years old before she was allowed to be on any social media or posting pictures of her. Does that make sense? So um, I understand it, protection and all, but it was really hard because I saw all my friends posting pictures of their grandkids and or even their kids. I have friends my age that still have young kids now. So it's what happens when you become a teenage mom. You end up with grandkids when you're still youngish. <laughs> youngish. I'm 50 now, so... But anywho, yeah, um, it's been hot, lots of projects being done, all about the dogs, all about the grandkids, and all about, or grandkid, and all about work. Um, but that's really it. Um, I'll take you in a few minutes and we'll, I'll show you, in fact, I can show you real quick. This is the back of the house. This is the new color. It used to be a really, really light gray. And then he repaired wood up on the chimney on both sides. So we've spent a lot of time right down there. That's pretty much where most of our summer has been. Um, no vacations this year. Oops, completely messed that up. We don't have any vacations for this year planned. Um, I may be flying out to El Paso in September. I'm not sure for my stepdad's birthday. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get away from work, but we have booked a cruise for next year. So I'm excited about that. Um, it's in March, so hold on. I don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds like a pool pump is going woo, woo. I need to have my husband, I usually have music on out here, so maybe I'm just not used to sitting here and hearing it with no other noises or what. No, I just heard it again. That doesn't sound normal. Hold on. So I went and got Adam because I kept hearing the same sound over and over and we cleaned out the skimmers. They weren't horribly bad, but we do have three dogs, two of them long haired that swim in the pool almost every day. But it may be time for a new pool pump. So, I mean, it's been 10 years. So we, our robot vacuum, we had a, it's called a dolphin. I forget, Matronics, I think that's who makes it vacuum cleaner for the pool um, and he was awesome. He lasted up until the last time I tried to clean out the pool, which was the end of last week. 
So we have a new one that was supposed to be delivered yesterday. They tried, we weren't home, we had to grab some lunch and we were all out to lunch and FedEx tried to deliver it. So hopefully it's here today, but I need my pool vacuum. This is a new one that just got released like four months ago, he said. I forget who makes it, Pentair, I think. But it um, has an app on your phone. So the old one, when it was done, you would have to grab the cord, pull him, hold him over the side of the pool, let all the water dump out into the pool. It was super heavy, pull it out, clean the filters. This one is an app on your phone. You press the button and he crawls the side of the pool, sits, brings himself out, dumps the water out, and then you clean out the filters. So it's, it's been a couple of days since it's been cleaned out, so it's definitely time I need it to get delivered. He said it should be here any minute, so that's good. So he's gonna, we have changed the salt generator in the pool twice since we've lived here. So this is now maybe the whole pool, pool pump. He's gonna go price it and see. He said it could last a couple of years like this, or it could go out overnight. And the problem is, is that when you have an in-ground pool in Georgia, you have to run it all year long. So if you, in the summertime, it'll turn green if it's not running. And in the wintertime, your pipes can freeze if it's not running. So we turn it low on, during the wintertime, but it is running all of the time. Anywho, so I'm now dripping sweat from running up and down the stairs a thousand times with Adam and with the dogs. Indigo's right here next to me. Dexter thinks he's going to go in the pool right now, but we're not going to do that right this moment. We did it all day yesterday. He's got these, well, they're actually herding balls that were Jackson Indigo's, and they've become pool toys, and he loves them in the pool. He has tunnel vision. Yesterday, Sophie and I were reading watermelon. He loves watermelon. He would not get out of the pool for the watermelon because he had his toy, but he scratches it up and now the inside of his little back leg is a little bit raw from it scratching up, rubbing on him. So he's got to have a break today. Indigo's tired. You swim with Sophia yesterday? Indigo, did you swim with Sophia? Anyway, she's, she's worn out today. But in a few minutes, once I go inside and cool off, I'll take you out front so you can see the difference in color and maybe I'll somewhere before I do that I'll put a picture of what my house used to look like and then you can see what the after looked like. Before I do that um, I did participate a little bit in the Amazon Prime Days uh, so I figured I'd just tell you what I got on Amazon Prime Days. Oh, that's today's deals. Nope let me find my orders. Whoo I am dripping sweat it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. All right they did have the um, I like the perfect hair day dry shampoo the advanced one it was on sale i got some uh, the gummy bear lip the laneige lip balm i got a sports bra i got a tea the, the paul mitchell scalp care tea tree or whatever a big bottle of shampoo and a smaller bottle of conditioner i did look at ulta because right now their larger sizes are on sale but the amazon prime days was still cheaper than the ulta sale so and i go through a whole lot less conditioner than i do shampoo so i went with the 33 ounce of the paul mitchell tea tree scalp care whatever and then a small bottle of the conditioner and then i got three of my favorite hairspray is the bedhead masterpiece i got three of those and I think, oh, uh, my husband wanted, we normally use an air fryer for most things, but we went to my son's house for dinner a couple weeks ago, and he did the deep fry with the big oil, you know, whatever. And my husband and my son-in-law were like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So not, you know, it's, I don't love the fact that it's in oil, but every once in a while when you want to actually fry something and you don't want to dump out the oil. So I got a tea fowl deep fryer that circulates that uh, filters the oil for you so you can reuse the same oil multiple times we have not used it yet it did come in but we have not used it yet that was all about my husband i got another metal pool table this i thought was like these but it's actually different but it was on sale so it's down between my lounge chairs and that is all i got on the amazon prime day sale i did also purchase a couple of things from the nordstrom anniversary sale i was not icon this year but i was ambassador and reduced my spending by a lot. So what I ordered, I got two pairs, uh, a size six and a size eight, because I'm between, I, I don't know, I'll see which ones I like better, but they are the Witten Wisdom Absolution High Waist Itty Bitty Boot Cut Jeans in Petite, but these have the raw hem. So let me try to get a picture up and show you. I got those and I got them in two different sizes so I can determine which ones I like better. I picked up I picked up a La Mer treatment lotion in the grand size. 
I got, I've not tried the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara, but they had a two pack for 40 bucks, so I got that. And I picked up a Caslon Split Neck Thermal Top. I don't know why I'm sitting here talking about thermal and I'm literally dripping sweat, but I got that. And I think that's all I bought. I do have a wish list. I really, really, really want this. It's the Blank NYC Faux Suede Bomber Jacket. But as soon as I was able, to, which was day two, it was sold out. So it's still sitting there just in case it comes back in. And then do I have anything? I have nothing in my cart. So I don't, I mean, it was a very small sale this year to be truthful with you. Other than the jeans being, the, I, I've not seen those with the raw hem, the itty bitty boot cut. Because um, being as short as I am, I do have some boot cut jeans that work well. But I wanted some that I could wear with some booties or something during the summer. But also wear with sandals right now. And I'm hoping that those will work. Because I do wear jeans a lot in the summertime. Because especially when I go to work, I'm not wearing shorts and being jumped up on by dogs and cats. Uh, mainly dogs. Um, but I wasn't overly excited by most of what I saw. Um, in my opinion, it was a lot of repetitive stuff. And I know that it's a basics, you know, the t-shirts that I get that. Um, and I'm glad I didn't see a thousand cardigans this year. That was kind of cool. But I mean, even the moto jackets and stuff, they aren't different enough. The blazers weren't, although there was this really pretty green one and there's a, like a houndstooth one that I thought was pretty, but I'm not spending $400 on a blazer. Um, I'm trying to think what else. You had your basics. They had some new prints in the Nordstrom pajamas. I do really like those pajamas. They're very comfortable. They're not overly thick. They wash pretty well. And I've got a pair of black ones. I have a pair of pink and a pink white check ones. These are from seasons before, from Nordstrom anniversary sales before. And then I have a pair that I got last year that were like a zebra something or other. They're my least favorite, actually. I thought I was gonna love them, but the tone on tone, I guess it's just because the coloring doesn't look great on me. I sleep in them. I'm not going anywhere in them, but I, they're, don't, they're not my favorite. Um, what else? All the boots and booties seemed the same. It just, nothing seemed fresh and new. And it, I know there were thousands of items that were on sale and I did not. I'm not one of those people who sat and went through, you know, a thousand different pages trying to see what all they have. I looked at some of the home decor, nothing that I was overly excited about. It just didn't wow me this year and that's okay. I mean, as I'm trying to pare down, I've done a lot of purging. Um, I think I've mentioned in my last one, my last video that I had done my linen closet and my main closets on my main level. Um, I also did, I have a, in my basement, I have a walk-in closet that's just full of like pool towels, hats, sunscreens, floats, and that type of thing, backup toilet paper, that type of thing. Um, but I also have this giant room in my basement that's all holiday stuff. And so the other day um, I had some time, so I went down there and I got rid of, I have a lot of Halloween decor and I got rid of a lot of Halloween decor. A lot, a lot, a lot. I've kept, Adam likes all the big outdoor, outdoor um, the motion activated ones. We have a six foot wolf. We have a baby that grows up to be six feet. We have a witch that holds a thing. We have a, a girl with long hair that sits on a swing. Um, but all the other ones, you know, all the little piddly stuff, because we used to throw big Halloween parties here and we don't really do that anymore and it's just taken up space. So I got rid of probably 50% of my Halloween decor. Next will be Christmas. Um, or following Christmas. I'll probably do that in the next couple of weeks. I just, it feels like there's just too much stuff. And I think that's part of the reason why I'm not shopping as much as I used to. It just, I'm, I'm literally dripping and I'm not normally a sweater and I'm underneath an umbrella. Um, but I just, I just don't need as much stuff anymore. It's, it clutters my head and I have enough going on with work and I just needed that. I mean, at this point in my closet, you can, move all my shirts it used to be they were so tight that you'd have like two inches to see what it was and get something in now I probably have two and a half feet of space I can move things slide my shirts over and see um, I still have a lot of sweaters if the whole thing but I've purged probably 25% of those jeans are all in one space now three shelves I think three shelves um, so there's probably still 50 pairs of jeans in there maybe more than that so, but these itty bitty boot cut ones, if I don't like them, I'll send them back, but they're the only ones I, I ordered. Um, I have a pair of mother jeans. I like them. 
I won't say that they're my favorites. I have Paige, I have AG, I think I've got, I mean, everything that's in the sales, it might be slightly different this year, but it just wasn't different enough for me to try them. The, the itty bitty boot cut with the frayed hem was the only one that I was interested in. Anywho, all right, well, let me go in. Actually, let me get a sip of water. Yes, I have a, I have a cup. This is my favorite cup. I know it's everybody and their sister has one, but 40 ounces of water, it stays cold. My refrigerator makes the craft ice. It's about this big around, and I put like three or four of those in there, and it keeps it cold all day, all night. Well, I mean, I fill it up four or five times a day. But I like the handle. I like that this fits in my cup holder in my car. I have a bunch of Yetis, but they don't have the handle, and I'd have to pick them up out of my car like this, and they're much wider, and I have little hands, and that was always a pain. This just fits the bill. So I have two. I have that one, the rose gold one, and I have a white one. I bought Emily one. I got Connor one. My son uses the giant Yeti, so he works outside in this. I don't know how he does it. I'm just literally rambling, guys. I'm sorry. All right, let me chill out for a minute, and or go inside and cool off a little bit, and then I'll show you the house. Okay, I'm out front and I finally cooled off a little bit coming out of the garage, but I'll show you. I'll put in a before picture here. And then, can I make this? Nope, I can't. Wow, I just walk out to the curb. Let me turn around. There's the after. So the body of the house used to be the color that's up there, there. And then this is a whole new color. So, and the front door is actually called Iced Mocha. I see my dogs looking out the door. But yeah, that's, and then the detached garage is the same. And we actually painted the garage doors the same color as the top pieces. So other than the stonework, that's it for this year. No more house projects unless we have to get a pool pump. I consider that a house project, but that's maintenance so that the pool doesn't get destroyed. All right, let me get inside. Okay, back inside where there's air conditioning. Um, I got really nothing else to chat about. Um, that's just what's been going on. I have gotten a few messages saying, where are you? Is everything okay? Yes, we're fine. I kind of mentioned that this was gonna be if you hear something in the background, it's the robot vacuum doing its job. Um, but this was gonna be, I don't know how often. So this is when I had the opportunity to film. Um, I have a question though. What are y'all's thoughts on Timu? I have not ordered from there, but every time I get on Facebook or YouTube to even scroll and see what's happening, everybody is doing Timu hauls. And I guess there's some deals to be had. I don't know how I feel about where it's based or you know how it saves your information or shares your information. Um, so that creeps me out just a little bit. I, years ago, I did a Shein. I did, I did one order from Shein and I wasn't blown away by it. So I deleted it and haven't used it since. So I'm kind of wondering if it's gonna be the same same type of thing. I, you know, every once in a while through my Facebook feed, something will pop up. I'm like, oh, that's neat, like outdoor throw pillows or something. And I guess that's how I would use it. But to be truthful, a lot of the videos I see are people ordering a whole lot of stuff that I feel like you can get from the Dollar Tree. So I don't, and that's right here. So is it worth the money or the, is, do you think that there's a risk? Let me know in the comments below if, if you use it, if you love it, if you think it's safe, and if you think you're getting decent items. See, I mean, it doesn't have to be something that's gonna last years and years and years if you're gonna be saving a good amount of money on it. But I, I, I guess my, my rule of thumb over the last few years has been quality over quantity. And I don't know, I mean, like I said, there were a few throw pillows or that type of thing that popped up and I was like, oh, that'd be pretty outside. But I don't know if I wanna put my information out there. So let me know your thoughts on that and if that's something that you're comfortable with and you know, you see any problems in the future. I haven't heard of anybody having any problems. I've just heard a lot of people speculating that this could be a problem with our information being shared, which I, I know our information is shared every time we get on social media, everywhere we are, everything we do. It's me, I get in the car and everything knows where I'm going, where I'm at, and I get ads based on that. So I guess it's not really that big of a stretch, right? Yeah, I'm due, due for Botox. Can you tell I had to cancel my appointment because I had other stuff going on? Um, I did get a, a uh, 
gift card to go get a facial for my birthday back in April and I haven't yet had a chance to use that. So maybe I'll use that here in the next couple of weeks or maybe once Sophia goes back to school. But that's it. That is all I have to share today. And um, I hope you guys are doing well. And I hope I didn't bore you to tears. And I will talk to you guys again later on. Bye. Have a happy day.